Hello Libra gang, welcome to your reading. So this reading is the love reading and what I have got is some initials about, if it's your initials then this is about like a clear um, message for yourself to look deep into the messages and this is also the person that you're connecting to. So what I have got is I've got some romance angels cards, I've got love guidance cards lovers oracle cards and i've also got two cards which is the answers to your questions that you are going to be um coming and thinking about in this reading um so i'm going to start off with your first card which is unrequited love so there is someone that you was in a relationship with but um not in a relationship with anymore but they may be coming back or they're still in your energy so it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep keep this relationship going you then have the card of love yourself first so it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so by loving yourself first you will seem and you'll be more attracted to people then you then have the trust card then, which says the situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, so this is telling you, you need to trust yourself. You need to start trusting this person also and to have faith that things will go as of planned. You then have the honeymoon card then. So this is about enjoying some time either with your partner or someone that you've got the hots for, so to speak, or some type of chemistry you have with this person. You may be going through some type of honeymoon period, um, like a beginning of a relationship where everything is all hunky-dory sort of thing and you want to spend more time together. So, and for some of you then, this is just that spending holiday time with you and this person. The next card then is the guidance card for love so this is a guidance on a relationship if you're in a relationship or you're just about to enter a relationship you need to find some um, healing and balance within this relationship um, and this is what you're going to be doing you're going to be attracting um, harmony and you know feeling safe with this person also as well and you're also going to be feeling self and love within yourself as well and with that, then you will start blooming new relationships as well. You then have the card of the Cupid. So Cupid is blowing love your way. So there is a lot of love um, coming into your heart at this time. You're going to be awakening um, a lot of romance as well. And there is a lot of spontaneous love and celebration coming for you. You then have a card of go for it. So whatever you want to go for is telling you to actually go for it. Take that plunge. Um, whatever praise you've been sending out to the universe that is um, very positive, you know, it, it is going to become a good um, positive outcome for you. Um, it will take you very far where you want to be. You have the card then of a blessing in disguise. So something that you think that is um to be a problem is not in fact a problem is actually a blessing um, and is actually part of an answered prayer that you have um, prayed for <coughs> excuse me you then have the card of opportunity to forgive so it is going to be some type of forgiveness coming in either you forgiving someone or someone is going to be forgiving you um, and this is going to help you to release any negative thoughts or feelings or energies um that have been pulling you down at this time you have the card then of cleanse and detoxify so there's a lot of cleansing and detoxifying at this time you know there is going to be um easing any sorrows or shedding your old ways uh, and giving all your cares worries and concerns to the angels to make yourself feel more purified in your own body you then have the heart chakra then, so there is a lot of love that is blooming. You're going to have your, um, your heart is going to be opening very, very strongly at this time. You then have the giving and receiving card, which is giving a lot of attention and affection um, and giving and receiving a lot of, from this time as well. 
You are also having the card of daydream. So you are going to be daydreaming quite a lot at this time. And there is going to be some messages coming in for you from the angels and your guides and your spirit guides for you to actually um, to receive and to hear what messages that you need to know from them. And you then have the card of reward yourself. So you are going to eventually reward yourself you know, because you've been giving a lot to yourself lately, you're going to be balancing giving and receiving and keeping your energy levels high. Um, and you're going to have a good mood and a good motivation at this time. You then have the card of heartbroken. So there may be a lot of pain, anguish, sad or separation or feeling lost or grieving and mourning around this time also. You have the camera card then, which is um, reminiscing things or having something of a keepsake and learning from the past and making some new memories for some of you. There is a karmic relationship that is um, in the works year for you. Someone that always flees in the relationship or has a lot of triggers and resentments. Um, you may be learning a lot of life lessons at this time, but also letting go of things but someone else is also um, still loving you for who you are. <coughs> you then have the heart with the key. So someone is actually going to be welcoming in love, meeting the right one, opening your heart up to this person. If you do get together with this person, you will finally see that things are actually going to be perfect for you both. With keys on the ring, there is many options coming in for you and there is a decision you need to make. Um, you may feel like you're getting strung along or you're stringing someone along and there may be something to do with a one night stand that's um, in the middle of this as well or to happen. You have Cupid's arrow then which is about have faith because love is coming in. There is a surprise invitation or meeting coming in and there may be some hesitation. With the axe there may be something to do with a breakup or separation or someone giving the silent treatment or feeling abandoned. Engagement ring, there may be an engagement that's on the horizon for you um, or a commitment. With the boat card, you are going to be receiving something exactly that you need. Um, something's moving on for some of you and closer issues, um, but there is progression coming in. With the lightning card, there is some shock, some type of discovery that you are going to be having. Um, and this could lead to some type of sudden change. With Girl Talk, you're going to have some time with your friends, um, moving on from a personal situation, being happily single, living in the moment and also having some fun. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> with the coffee cup then, you're going to be meeting up with this person, having more conversations. Um, you're going to be feeling really uplifted and this could be to do with a friend, some type of friendship. With the healing art card then, this is about um, healing from a heartbreak or freedom from a toxic relationship or a addiction that's coming in for you. Okay, with the initials then, we have VHBRQZ and Oh, as well. So that's the initials we have. So if that's your initials that's in there, this means there's a lot of um, messages in this for you that you need to know. If not, then this is the um, initials of um, your person. But don't necessarily mean it, only certain people. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of seconds now to see what questions you want to ask. And then I am going to tell you the answers to that and that is starting from now. Okay then, so the first answer we have for you is within the next few weeks. And then the last one then is helpful people. Okay then Libra, that is your love reading. I hope it will resonate to some extent. If so, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I see you all again soon. Bye.